Hello curls, it's Yolanda Renee and today I'm coming to you guys with a very quick, um, I guess, reveal, product review. I'm just going to come to you guys and talk about this wig, yes. I've actually had this for a minute and it is from Divas Wigs. But before I brought it to you, I definitely wanted to like, you know, test it out a little bit. And I really do love it. I do. Um, so yeah, just stay tuned if you want to hear about this wig. And FYI, I will be petting this hair the whole time because this video is about this hair and I love it. And I always pet my wigs and my real hair too. So this wig is from divaswigs.com. And ever since I've been posting about the private stock hair, I think that opened up some new clients that have been contacting me about, you know, doing work with them. So they did send me this wig. I picked it out. And like I said, this is a more wavy pattern, um, but it still reminds me of just a natural um, texture. So that's why I love it. Um, it was very easy to blend right here. Very easy to blend. Ask Devin. I always use Devin um, to help me. Like I'm like, babe, do this. Does this look too wiggy? Wiggy. <laughs> and he said no. Um, the box is really cute. It's gold and white. You guys know I love gold. And it says right product and sincere service. Um, so yeah, let's open her up. The wig comes in plastic like this, so it's very protected. Um, and also it had netting on it as well. I have this netting on the hair, I guess to keep it like nice and tamed. You also get a wig cap in this box and there's some instructions on the back on how to wear the wig cap. But I don't have a wig cap on you guys. And the reason for that is I, and people ask me all the time in my videos, like you don't wear a wig cap. You know, if my hair was humongous and crazy and I braided it and it was still like poofy, I would put a wig cap on just so it would like really hold my hair down. Now, as far as some people think wig caps really protect your hair, in my opinion, they do not protect your hair. A wig cap, the material is not a protective material to me that's a damaging thing as well the cap is damaging so if someone came up with a satin lined wig cap i would totally wear it because i feel like that would be protecting my hair from that friction the thing in um this package is you get a wig brush i guess i could take it out the plastic um but yeah it's a wig brush and it also has it has their logo on the wig brush right here. So yeah, this is super cute because white is like my new favorite right now. And I love white. Um, and then it has a little pamphlet in here with a brown girl in there, I guess. <laughs> um, so yeah, so my wig, oh, it has my name on it. Yay. All right, so this item code is CC110. The hair color is 1B. Yeah, um, the hair length is 18 inches and it is it is a nice length. It is a very nice length and I put a little bit like of layers in it a little bit just so I could frame my face how I wanted it to. Um, the hair density is 120% and I wouldn't say 120% but it is a nice amount of hair. It's not like crazy and I don't want it to be crazy like. I think this hair has me acting different. Hair gives you this different like ego. Um, but anyway, um, the cap size is average. The hair texture is 100% Brazilian virgin hair. The lace color is light brown and I have a glueless lace cap three. And this wig is a full lace wig. Like there is no um, tracks in it whatsoever. So I can part this however I want. Um, I don't think this came with a side part. I think it was a middle part when I got it. Yeah, I think it was a middle part, but I parted it on the side because I like that look better because I have a big forehead. So <laughs> it's a full lace wig. Um, there's baby hairs all around the perimeter of the hair, even in the back. 
where I probably could wear this in a ponytail like and it would look flawless. Um, this wig actually has two, three, four. It has four combs. There's two on the side. There's one like at the top here and one in the back. Oh, it has an elastic band as well. So the elastic band helps tremendously. It makes the cap really tight so it doesn't move as much. If you wear wigs, you know that sometimes the wig starts to pull back and that comb that's right there in that weird spot it stops your wig from moving back so that one really does help so i do like the placement of the combs it makes sense but you just have to be careful with them because like i said it can be damaging um and so for this part here although we have combs everywhere you still need to make sure that this part right here is tight as possible so that's usually where i use my bobby pins I'll pull the wig down right here and place the bobby pin here and usually like about here just so this part can be stretched and flat because sometimes it'll lift up right there. So yeah, that's what I basically use the bobby pin for. I have videos of me putting a wig on um, but I did want to show some of the products that I use. Um, of course for my edges so it could blend and really look like it's part of the wig as well for my edges I did use my cream of nature um, perfect edges the extra hold just so it could smooth my natural hair because of course my texture is completely different than this wig um, so yeah you may need to use that and if you click right here you can see my other video which is my top three edge controls so yeah click here if you want to see that video use which I use this today. This is my um, LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn and I like using this one because the brush is perfect. Like you see the brush right there. It's perfect to just go ahead and you know put the concealer here to make your part look natural. Um, so yeah I really like this product to make your wigs not look so wiggy. I did use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. Um, what I usually use for my brows and I did place some like about here just so we could like really make sure it looks natural here and also if there was any of the um, lace showing I also use my dip brow pomade. This Sultanicals Knot Sauce is so bomb. I use this on the wig. I used it on my hair underneath as well to make sure it was super moisturized and you know protected just really love it i have no complaints about this except the texture change in the front here but i just have to add product to that section to make sure that it kind of blends in with the rest of the curls okay so we do have a coupon code i just checked my email um you get 35 dollars off of your order if you spend 200 dollars um, the code that you use is my name, Yolanda. So whenever you pick out a wig, even if it's not this wig, if you remember um, and if you visited the site because you watched my video, please use my code, Yolanda. That's all you have to do. So use the code, Yolanda. You get $35 off. So let's help each other out. I would really appreciate if you use that code. And it says that their wigs start at $150. Definitely go to the website and really look around. I know some people don't want to spend a lot of money because I've had wigs that cost way more than $150. But this is a good starting um, price. So I'm kind of happy that I get to say that. So um, if you spend $200, you get $35 off. That's pretty good. Um, so yeah, go to the site, check it out, come back, let me know what you thought about the units they have, the price, all that good stuff. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. Goodbye!